Good evening, and welcome to scholarship recipients, family, friends, donors, CCC staff, and community members joining us tonight. Thank you for joining us this evening for our annual scholarship recognition ceremony. My name is Dr. Bill Mullaney, and I serve as the president of SUNY Corning Community College. Here at the college, we strive to support our students as they work towards achieving their dreams and transforming their lives and the lives of those around them. This event in particular is one of our most rewarding events as we continue our tradition of showcasing the talents and dedication of our students, as well as the generosity and support of our alumni, donors, and friends in the community. This year, 92 students have been awarded just over $192,000 in scholarships for the academic year. Over the course of my 20 years of working at community colleges, when students talk about the obstacles they face, it often comes down to access to resources. They have the intelligence and drive to succeed, but often struggle financially. We saw this need increase dramatically during the pandemic when we learned that students lacked laptops and money for Wi-Fi in order to complete their work. Fortunately, with student emergency funds and the laptop loaner program, we were able to help out with those needs. For many of our students, scholarships are the difference between staying in college and dropping out. For others, scholarships allow them to work fewer hours at their jobs so they can concentrate on their studies. The college is incredibly fortunate to have wonderful individuals working here and serving on the Regional Board of Trustees and the CCC Development Foundation Board, people who are committed to our students, understand their challenges, and do everything they can to support them. This evening, you'll hear from one of our longtime donors about why he established a scholarship at the college. You'll also hear from our students about what it means for them to receive their awards. And finally, you'll hear from our Foundation Board President, Holly Seeger, to wrap up the event. I hope you enjoy this virtual event, and I look forward to seeing you in person sometime soon. Stay safe. Thank you. Hello, my name is Sam McEnroy. I'm here speaking for the McEnroy Fund and the scholarship we've been giving at Corning Community College for the last 21 years. The origins of this scholarship go back to my mother's death in 1989. And the children and grandchildren of Eileen Clark McEnroy trying to decide how best to honor her memory. We could perhaps erect a monument at the cemetery in her honor, or maybe better, and this is eventually what happened, create a scholarship at Corning Community College that assists students monetarily and gives them recognition. And we've been able to impact 31 students at Corning Community College over the last several years. Eileen had a, a great interest in Spencer Crest Nature Center and the principles espoused there led us to create a scholarship that recognizes students who have an appreciation for the flora and fauna in our natural world, and also students who have distinguished themselves academically by effort and not merely by just high grades. This gives an opportunity to uh, an average student with an above average achievement index, achieving and getting some recognition and going forward. In order to ensure that this award is given in perpetuity, our family entered into a, a commitment with the Corning Community College Foundation to uh, make the award yearly and to commit the funds that would allow it to continue on in perpetuity. I might mention that the McEnroy family also feels a very close connection with Corning Community College. I taught here for 37 years. I taught mathematics from 1964 until 2000. My wife Kay and I had three children. All three graduated from Corning Community College. All three have been successful. All three would tell you that they got a quality education at Corning Community College. In summary, we're so grateful that this award allows us to honor our mother grandmother. It also allows us to recognize students 
for their good work and to give them some financial assistance. And so I would say to each and every student, do what we're doing, pay it forward. You're already doing that with your efforts. Please continue that effort. Thank you. My name is Jake Emerson Schultz. My name is Julie May. My name is Ryan Hayes. Hi, my name is Charlie Smith. My name is Jacob Spinoza. My name is Cassie Kimball. My name is Chrislyn Derrick. My name is Genevieve Lakutis. So to receive the scholarship meant a lot to me and my family. I have a six-year-old daughter um, and she was super excited for me, even though she kind of doesn't really know what it means. Um, but my fiance and I both worked full time, so that this meant that I was able to kind of cut down on working so much, especially being in the nursing program. It's a lot, so financially it helped out a lot. It meant way more than I could ever say in just like a few words because I never actually met Dr. Hudson, the person the scholarship was in memorial for, but I read his biography on the college website multiple times and it really resonated with me just because his life was so focused around music and my life was so focused around music. So I just really felt that connection and it's just such an honor to carry on that legacy and passion that he had for music. It meant a lot to me and my family when we received this scholarship. Um, money is um, hard to come by, so receiving that scholarship just made everything a lot easier on everybody, and it was really awesome for me and my family. Uh, to receive the scholarship, it meant a lot to me and my family. It allowed me to build a bigger basis in order to you know, be able to save more for the next step in college. And it allows me to you know, focus more on my studies instead of working throughout college, and so that I'm hopefully going to be able to get on the precedence list this semester. When I found out I received the scholarship, I was so excited and honored because he was such an impactful man in our community and just beyond grateful. It meant a lot for me to get the scholarship. Um, it secured my future in a way, and it helped me worry a lot less about college. When I got a scholarship, I felt really proud of myself because I never got anything like this before so it means a lot to me thank you i was really excited i uh, applied for a lot of scholarships and i was just excited to get this one i you know i didn't really want to get my hopes up too much but i was really happy uh, when i found out i received the scholarship i was ecstatic like i was super excited in order to you know receive this and see all my hard work pay off um, in this application process and um, continue to give me a a good way to start and um, save for my next college experience. I felt really relieved and surprised that I got a scholarship and I felt really happy that somebody recognized that I was working hard towards my goal. Oh I was so excited when I found it out I was receiving the scholarship. Um, I was so excited I immediately texted my mom I called my mom I was like oh my gosh I got one. <laughs> um, it was it was really cool. When I found out I received the scholarship, I just felt so much honor because getting any scholarship is obviously an honor, but getting one specifically for my success in the music program was so exciting because it just sort of told me I was on the right track in life. I was getting where I want to be and that I just have to keep going and I'll be somewhere great in the future. So like I said earlier, the scholarship is um, definitely going to help me financially. Um, I do work full time in a doctor's office, so I was able to kind of cut down on that. Um, and I do commute. Um, it's a 45 minute drive back and forth and books for the nursing program are super expensive. So it definitely helped out financially and just kind of made sure that I had everything in order to be able to start the program. The scholarship is going to help me by allowing me to you know, focus more on school. It's going to allow me to spend more time with school, not having to work. Um, just being able to focus on this and nothing else is going to make, I think, hopefully a huge difference in my GPA and um, other scholarships I may receive in the future. Well, definitely lift the weight off my shoulders of the financial burden. I don't have to worry so much about how I'm going to pay for college, just focus on my actual classes. This scholarship will help me because it will lessen the cost of everything and makes it so I don't have so much debt in the future and it helps me with a career in the future. The Amory Houghton Scholarship is going to help me like not have to worry about working this semester. Um, it's going to take that financial burden off my family. And then it also helps 
me and what I can do as far as giving back because I'm involved with the Collegiate Recovery Center and I'm starting a program at the Ernie Davis Center um, so I can be involved with that more. Um, it helps take my mind off the financial side of things, which is a huge help because academics are really important with the field of study that I am going into. So it just makes it so much easier to have more time to study. I don't have to worry about anything financial with scholarships. So. Beyond CCC, um, I'm looking to transfer into Grove City College, um, into their biology program. I visited with them, started the application process with them, looking forward to finishing a bachelor's degree with them. Um, and then hopefully move into um, secondary education, biology, or general science teaching. Well, after I graduate from here, I plan to transfer to a university, um, just go on and get further education. So after graduating CCC, I do have to do um, another program through another school to get my BS on. That's required for all nursing students now. But I do want to work at Strong, um, the Galasano, either the PICU or the NICU unit. Well, my future goals and plans are that I'd like to transfer into a four-year school after here. I'm not sure exactly which school I'd like to go to yet, but somewhere in the New York City area because I want to do musical theater. So of course I gotta be close to Broadway. And I feel like that's a really big dream, but all the skills and experiences I've accomplished here at CCC really make it feel like I can achieve that dream. To find a job I really like and be interested in and just to do good in my career, I guess. Well, after CCC, I plan to transfer to St. John Fisher College in Rochester um, to pursue my pharmacy career um, to hopefully one day become a pharmacist. Um, after CCC, I plan to go on to a, another school so I can study astronomy and eventually become an astronomer. Well, after I graduate CCC, I'm going to enroll in SUNY Brampton for BSW, and I plan to get a job as a social worker and work with women and children who have been touched by substance abuse and domestic violence. Donations to scholarships truly make a difference. 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 Thank you. 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 Good evening. I'm Holly Seeger president of the Corning Community College Development Foundation. Welcome to this evening's program, and I wanna congratulate all of our scholarship recipients this evening. Your hard work and dedication to the process has paid off, and I wish you the very best. I also wanna take a moment to thank all of our donors who have made generous contributions and investments into this foundation. Our mission is to help the college achieve its vision of being the premier community college in our region. And your money and your donations helps ease the burden of the educational costs for our students, as well as advance the programs of the college and the institution. Thank you for your ongoing support. We really appreciate your effort. I also wanna remind all of the scholarship recipients that once you graduate, you have an opportunity to pay it forward and give back to the students of the future through our alumni program. We hope that we can welcome you there and see you in the future for years to come. Congratulations to all. I wish you the very best in your academic pursuits and enjoy the rest of your evening.